this city and strive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. No issues with the ducks water freezing, but they sure do get it pretty dirty pretty quick. A majority of the snow has melted, but it's still pretty chilly outside, so I think we're going to work on the inside. And while the dogs have loved us having our bed in the living room, we're ready to be back in our bedroom. There's a bunch of mundane things that add up around the property to keep it going. So while Cody works on all of that in the morning, I typically make him breakfast. I'm gonna make breakfast and I wanted to show y'all because this is a super easy breakfast recipe and it's Cody's favorite and I make it quite often. All you need is croissants, some sausage, eggs, and then cheese if you want cheese but you don't have to put cheese on there. So let's do it. I'm gonna start by preheating my oven to 375 and grounding up all of my breakfast sausage. While that's cooking, I'm gonna start preparing a cookie sheet and spread out my croissant rolls. You can kind of mush it if you want to get you a little bit more space. It doesn't hurt anything. I'm gonna add my cooked sausage as my first layer, and then I'm gonna use the same pan to cook my eggs. and that will all go to the compost later. You don't have to add anything to your eggs, but this is what we do. I kind of use this pumpkin as like a wedge. Makes it easier. Let's finish assembly. She goes for like 9 to 12 minutes. Voila, she is done. Oh yeah, that one's mine, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. No leftovers, we ate the whole thing, so good. Let's go take the compost, which is doing great by the way. Cody. <laughs> Thank you. It was a pleasure, sir. Hey y'all, Lord Cody here to tell you about one of our favorite conservation efforts, established titles. You're probably thinking, Lord Cody? Yes, Lord Cody. Established titles is a fun and novel way to support the natural woodlands of Scotland, as well as support global reforestation efforts. With established titles, you can purchase souvenir plots of land in Scotland, and based on historic Scottish customs, this allows you to call yourself a Lord or Lady. 
The title pack gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique number plot on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland. Along with your certificate and crest, they pledge to keep the land free from any use. And they do this by working with global charities such as One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future. There are so many things you can do with this title and it will make a great gift this upcoming holiday season. And Established Titles is actually running a sale right now, so make sure you check out the link in our description. Plus, if you use the code can contain us, you can get an additional 10% off. And the first 200 people who purchase the title pack using our link will get their plot right next to ours. So help us plant some trees and we can start building our little container kingdom. Thank you again to Established Titles for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. Before we get into the rest of the video and the main project that we're doing, I want to address a question that we have gotten so much over the past couple days, which is siding. This is a project we've constantly been working on in the background, but it's pretty tedious and we have over 10 logs we have to cut, so it takes quite a while. Not to mention we need to make some more space to be able to store all that wood to let it sit and dry while we're cutting the rest of the wood. And since we insulated the floor, it's not a huge necessity to do it right this second because really the only thing that it affects is the floor temperature. So while there's no issue with using green wood at all, because it's siding and the wood is a little bit thinner, if we're able to let it dry at least a little bit before we put it up, then that gives us a lot better chance to be able to prevent cupping or the wood cracking or anything like that. As well as we've noticed that we need a lot of upgrades on the sawmill since producing all of this wood. It's really inefficient for Cody to have to be using the tractor and going back and forth to lift these logs. We want to try to find more beneficial ways to do this, as well as just other minor upgrades from wear and tear of using it back to back to back every single day. It's a tedious process. It gets boring. It gets repetitive. Y'all want to see it, so we'll probably end up doing another video, but that's why we haven't shown it. But we've gotten an influx of comments of people saying that what are you doing? You're going back on your word. You're not doing the siding anymore. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. That's not what's going on. It's just a lot of work and it takes a little bit each day and we just don't always show it. So we're still doing it, but we're not necessarily going to break our backs for it because it's not something that like pipes are going to freeze or the house is going to burn down if we don't get it done. Everything's still going to be perfectly fine. And of course, if we could afford to go to Home Depot or Lowe's and buy all this wood in bulk and put it up on the house, we would have it done, you know, next week. But we're milling our own wood. It's Cody and myself, but mostly Cody. So it just takes a little time and just have a little bit more patience with us. It's going to get done definitely before Christmas, but probably oh, yeah. in the next couple of weeks. We also get pretty bored and we like to change up things. That's why we're working in our bedroom. And we also don't like the cold, so that's why we're working in our bedroom, so yeah. All right, let's get back to the fun part. I cannot wait to paint these doors. They're so dingy. Why are you so obsessed with me? get done in this room because we're gonna get it done. I want my mattress out of the living room. We need to finish all the money and taping, add a corner, add a piece of trim. Once we finish the money and taping, drywall paint, regular paint. Cody said we're not doing baseboards yet, so scratch on the baseboard. We're also going to do carpet in our bedroom. I know there's probably gonna be a ton of mixed reviews on that. It is just temporary. Cody really wants carpet. It was a compromise. We'll talk more about it later, but yes. Tons of stuff we're gonna do in this room. And unfortunately, I thought we had all of our supplies, but we don't, so. Where do we get this trim? Do you remember? Home Depot. Are you sure it was Home Depot? Yeah, the trim was from Home Depot. Okay, then we need to go back to Home Depot. Just for that one piece of trim. One piece, people. But oh well. Yeah, that was my fault, I cut it wrong. It's okay, we need coffee creamer, and that's a staple in this household, so it's, it's worth a trip in a town. Hold down the fort, boys. She said, here, come film me. I said, I already was. You can see our address up to walk it out. Yeah, probably. Everything's so dead and you can see everything now. We literally just ran to a few stores like Home Depot and Walmart, and by the time we got back, it was already dark. These short winter days are really catching up to us. And since this whole getting dark real early thing's really throwing us off, we're definitely gonna need to pick me up. Cody was telling me 
telling me about all the things he's about to start doing, and then I was like, oh yeah, okay, well if you want to do the ceiling, then I can start on the walls. Then I was like, yeah, I love you a lot, and you're really good at a lot of things, but mudding just wasn't your strong suit last time you did it. Listen, I see some really nice areas in here. Yeah, I agree, but you took like a really long time. The way you did it, you had to do like four coats. That just kind of took a while. Basically, I'm not allowed to mud and tape, so just like everything else, but, I'm going to be filming but, Cody. But, Summer wanted to paint the doors too, so I think she's going to go ahead and paint all the doors in the room while I start working on mud. We got our doors from Home Depot for 10 bucks on sale. Somebody custom ordered them, they did not want them, didn't pick them up, they were trying to get rid of them, so they gave them to us for 10 bucks a piece. We paid full price for one door. But, when we were still in the process of building everything, Thing. We got our doors pretty early on and the entire house was not completely sealed in and we had some water get in and have damage to the bottom of the doors. They obviously need to be painted. They're gross. The dogs have rubbed up against them a whole lot. They're grimy. So that's what I'm going to be doing while Cody is mudding and taping the bedroom. And when I say water damage, you can see right here, there's no warped wood or anything. It's just cosmetics. No damage to the door and they've been completely dried out. And this is your sign to not throw away your old TV trays. Because I said I was going to get Summer some sawhorses to put the doors on. Well, we don't actually have any, but we do have TV trays. I changed my shirt because I did not want to ruin my Yellowstone shirt. But I think the method that I'm going to use for this is just rolling it on and then using a paintbrush for all of the detail work. I didn't buy anything extra because I'm not going to spend money on this. <laughs> Minus the paint, but we're going to use the paint for all of the trim. While I start painting, Cody's going to get all of his stuff set up and we're going to knock out the first layer of everything. There's no secret that we have dogs, which accumulates a bunch of dog hair. So I'm gonna take a cloth and just wipe down the entire door to get all of the dust and dog hair off and make sure that we have a clean surface for the paint to stick to. white and I really like it compared to just a normal flat white. It may be hard to see on camera but there is just a small little tint to it and I really really like it. It's actually a lot wider than I thought. I thought it was going to be more yellow like the door already oh, yeah. is. So I'm happy with it for sure. And the coverage is actually really good as well but I'm still probably going to do a second coat. brush for all of the detail work because there's a ton of lines and grooves all in the store. So I put just a little bit of paint in a separate tray and that's what I'm going to go around and do. I can tell that there's going to be a little bit of a texture difference between using the roll-on versus the paintbrush, but just like the cabinets that I've done in the past, I'm hoping that after the second coat you really won't even be able to tell. and went along the sides as well. I'm definitely not a professional drywaller, so don't judge my work. He's starting on the dreaded corner seams. Yeah, the corners are the worst. I 
was looking around to see if there was anything that I could help him mud in tape while I'm waiting for this door to dry, but the walls are pretty much done. It's just the ceilings and I am very short. <laughs> So I think we're gonna put this one against the wall and grab the second door, so I have something to do. It's not heavy, it's just awkward. Okay. Right now, I'm taking my inside corner tool and I'm putting a thick layer of spackle on top of the seam. Oh, I need my screwdriver, my screw's not in all the way. I'm using this inside corner tool right here, getting my spackle just on the inside part of the tool and then running it along the seam. The reason I try to only put it on the middle right there is so that way whenever it spreads out, I'm not ending up with a ton of excess over there on the sides like that. And then whenever I do get the excess, we'll just go ahead and scrape it off to get a little bit less back there and then go back over it. Once we get our nice thick layer of spackle on, we're gonna go ahead and measure out our paper tape and cut it to size. And then you can see it's already pre-creased, so we're just gonna go ahead and crease it the rest of the way, right through the middle. And then just press her into place. And after that, we're just gonna do the same thing and put another coat of spackle on top while making sure to press down on the tape so it gets sunk into the, the thick layer we originally put on. Last step, after we have it smoothed out the way we wanted, we're gonna go ahead and run our blade back over, get all that excess spackle off. And we can also use a damp rag or a sponge to be able to smooth out your seams right there. So there's no big clumps left behind and it's nice and smooth. Now we're gonna do this around the entire seam of the bedroom. He's starting to work on the ceiling now and it looks so good, y'all. You know I'm here to stay every single day. The ceiling is completely done and oh my goodness, it looks so good, babe. Thank you. So well, good. Except for that spot. I didn't finish that spot. Okay. But I gotta let it dry and then I'll fix it. <laughs> And while he was doing that, I finished up this door and I just love the Y. I think it turned out so good. He's gonna hang it back in the closet so it can dry and then I'll do the other side tomorrow. Really quick, let's give this one a second coat. So fresh, so clean, 
So fresh and so clean, clean. Okay, I'm cringing. So oh, pretty. So they make all kinds of different corners between like metal and fiberglass and plastic and all that, but we're just gonna be using metal corners on our outside corners. I can't find my tin snips, so. So we'll probably let everything dry and then come back in here tomorrow and do a second coat and get it all sanded. I'm super excited because we're so close to being drywall paint ready. It looks great. You did a really good job. I Thank love it. Thank you. It looks good. Some leftover Papa J's for dinner. We are exhausted, so as soon as that pizza is done, we're gonna smash it and go to bed. So, oh, yeah, oh. I am tired. so let's answer some questions. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because all of that definitely helps. For sure. Trevor says, Nice job on insulating the floor. Do you have any concerns with mice nesting in the insulation? Do you plan to add a narrow wire mesh to keep the mice off? No, we don't plan on adding any kind of wire mesh or anything like that. We're not really concerned with mice Ooh. nesting in the insulation because there's nowhere to hold them, basically. Mm -hmm. It's all just C-channel metal, so if they tried to get into it, the insulation would just fall down, and then we'd be able to see that it fell down. Not to mention, after we enclose the bottom of the container, it's all going to be sealed off, and there won't be anywhere for mice to be able to get in, in at, so but we're not really worried about it. Chuck Miller says, what are you using to hold the fiberglass against the floor? and I guess that kind of, they, they go together. So since the metal beams under the house are actual C channels, it provides a little bit of a place to be able to hold the insulation at, as well as the insulation itself is just a tiny bit bigger than the space that it's in. So it's mostly held in by tension. Uh, we didn't really need anything to hold it up. It's held up to the wind at all. None of the pieces have fallen down or anything like that. So, uh, so far so good. Mary says, Summer, why don't you ever have the fountain on in the pond? Just wondering. <laughs> well, we use it sometimes, but lately the pond's been pretty low because we haven't had a whole lot of rain, and it's been super windy. So oh, yeah. if we had the fountain going all the time, we'd just be losing a ton of water to evaporation. It's not just big drops of water that the, the fountain puts out. It actually creates a little bit of a mist, too. Mm -hmm. But if it were just going all the time, then it would just add to the pond getting lower even faster. It's more of just a filtration type of thing whenever we see it start to have a buildup, mostly like in the springtime. The best time that we use it and the majority of the time that we use it is when it's not windy. Mm -hmm. And it's been super windy lately, so the wind naturally stirs up the water on top of the pond mm -hmm. and we don't really need it anyway. That's pretty much it. I don't know if we're going to be working on the sawmill or if you're going to get another bedroom video yet. It just depends how we feel in the morning, if we want to work outside or if it's too cold for us. So we shall see. But yeah, thanks for being here and... Stay tuned for the next one. Bye. Bye. What are you doing? What are you doing, weirdo? You're freaking me out. What are you saying? saying I love you and I want you to quit if that's what you uh -uh. want. No. You did the crime now. No. Now you're going to do the time boy. <laughs> Stay. People ask why we have a TV in our bathroom. So I can watch TV when I get the dogs back. Anya, girl, you're so dirty.
no, no. <laughs> She's the worst to bathe. She hates it. She's a good girl. A supervised swim. What is all that bubbles? Baby, don't you understand that we only get one?